so welcome to Montreal, Philip. Thank you very much. So uh, maybe you could tell us a bit about yourself, where you're coming from, and uh, a bit about your background. I'm here from the Boston area. My background is commerce and finance, first at the University of Toronto, and then MIT, and I taught college at the Graduate School of Business, University of Chicago. But I've been in entrepreneurial businesses since. I'm an unrecovered entrepreneur. <laughs> so the academic life wasn't for you then? No, uh, basically there were benefits and payoffs that were entirely in power and they were not in what I understood. <laughs> so I, I left that and co-founded a business which we sold to a subsidiary of Chase Manhattan Bank and it worked out well and I've been in a number of businesses since then. Oh. So now you're spending most of your time as an angel investor? Yes, and entrepreneur. I get very, I'm the curse that goes with the money. Ah. I get very much involved with the companies that I invest in, uh, sometimes as a part-time CFO, mm -hmm. even though I'm not an accountant or as a chairman of the board or something of that sort. But the idea is I have certain expertise. I've made all mistakes at least once. So I have the ability to try and steer away from them the second time. <laughs> so very hands-on as an investor then? I'm hands-on as an investor as opposed to being an impass impartial. And so what type of deals are you typically looking for? Do you have a sector that you privilege over others? Uh, my preference, actually there are two, but the strongest preference is for software deals that are internet related. Uh, generally focusing on consumers. A second preference would be in the area of healthcare, because I was in the field of healthcare informatics for several years and doing a turnaround of a business. Okay. And the deals that you invest in, are they all typically from the Boston area, or do you look at deals from other regions as well? They're typically in the Boston area. We have too many. I'm in a formalized angel group with about 50 members called Boston Harbor Angels. We, have, uh, we see about four deals every quarter and that's winnowed down from a much larger funnel. Mm -hmm. So we have no shortage of deals. If anything, the hesitancy is to write a check every time one <laughs> comes to the table. I'm sure that's music to the entrepreneurs here. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Good, so uh, we're glad to have you up here and um, hopefully you'll see some good deals here at Capital Innovation in Quebec. I'm really looking forward to it. I think this is great. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>